Hey guys, in today's video I will be showing you my holiday glam makeup look. Um, and I'm using a couple of new products in today's video, so I'm pretty excited. Um, the first thing I want to demo is these two little mini, um, this came in a MAC set. Uh, it's their Stroke Cream and their Fix Plus Setting Spray. Um, it's a Prep and Prime Spray as well, so I'm going to use both as my primer today. And I love primers that give my skin that glow from within look. Um, because when you're putting makeup over it, you want your skin to still look glowy and healthy and all that jazz probably put way too much but and so far it's definitely giving me um that like strobe effect that they're talking about i'm just gonna rub the rest in my fingers like that and just kind of work it into my skin It feels kind of moisturizing too. And there you go. As you can see, it's giving my skin like a nice youthful appearance. And that's what I like. And I'm gonna take a couple of sprays of the Fix Plus. faces I make it's hilarious um and now for foundation I'm just taking my it cosmetics CC cream this is the color correcting illuminating full coverage anti-aging hydrating serum I'm just taking this and putting it on my little sponge this is actually a new sponge that I'm trying out it's from the brand eco tools um, it also came in like a holiday set so I'm going to be demoing the sponge as well as the brushes that I came with. So I'm taking about like two pumps on my sponge. And I'm just going to start working this into my skin. And I've been really into tinted moisturizers rather than like a foundation because I feel like it just, I don't know, it looks more natural on the skin. It doesn't look as heavy or <clears throat> feel as heavy on the skin it's a more of a lightweight type of formula like yeah it just like, perfects the skin without making it look too makeup-y if that makes sense and I'm gonna take more because I'm very liberal with this foundation because um, it is just a tinted moisturizer so I find that I have to kind of go in a couple more times than I usually would. So far I like the sponge, it's pretty soft, um, I usually use the Real Technique sponge over any other sponge, like the Beauty Blenders and stuff, those are way too expensive, so I'm always down for a more affordable alternative to the Beauty Blender, um, which is why I love the Real Technique sponge so much. Um, but this one's really good too, and it's pretty big and fluffy and squishy, so it's not like too firm to where it feels like I'm hitting myself in the face. It's quite bouncy, so I like it. Um, I have another sponge to try out. This one's from Colourpop. It's their Precision 
blending sponge or something like that. And it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So like this is the Eco Tools one and this is the ColourPop one. So it's pretty much like half the size, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to use this for my concealer, but first I want to go in with the eyeshadow look that I want to do. And since it is a holiday glam tutorial, it's only fitting that I do something with like golds and just like neutral tones, nothing too crazy because I'm probably going to do a red lip. Um, I'm taking my Carly Bible palette, which I've been loving recently, and I'm taking this shade Chai, which is this neutral brown shade right here. And I've been wanting to pick up this palette for so long. And I finally picked it up and I'm so happy about it because Carly is one of my personally favorite YouTubers, like ever. So the fact that I get to try out her products and use them in tutorials just makes me so happy. I love supporting other YouTubers and all that jazz. So yeah, Chai is definitely like the perfect transition shade. And then you can kind of build from there whatever color you want on top of it. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Bible, which is the, oh, it's kind of hard to show it on here, huh? It's this gray tone brown right there. And I'm just taking that and I'm putting this in the crease as well. This is more of like a cool toned color. Now I want to take the color Boy, I think it's pronounced, but it's B-O-I-E, and it's the shade right on the far right of the palette, and I'm just using this to kind of deepen up the crease and the outer corner especially, because I do want it to be somewhat of a dramatic eye look without looking too, too dramatic but I still want some definition in there. So I'm gonna focus this mainly on the outer corners and then take whatever's left and just swoop that into the crease in kind of like windshield wiper motions. And that's about it. I'm pretty much done with the matte shades. I'm just gonna go in with the color My Angels, which is this dirty, rusty kind of gold color right underneath the color that we just used. looks like stunning I'm just gonna take my finger and just really hit the high points of the eye. Okay. Now 
the eyeshadow is done. I'm just going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter and just pop this right underneath the eyes. I was so bummed out the other day because I ordered the um, the Freshwear concealer, um, also by ColourPop, with this concealer and also the sponge. And only the sponge in this concealer came in the mail, so I don't know if I'm receiving the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Concealer, like later in a different package or if they just forgot to put it in there i don't know but i was gonna do a comparison video of the matte or the soft matte concealer compared to the hydrating one but it never came so i'm just gonna use it in the tutorial and that's it um i am gonna go in with the sponge though i already pre-damped it and i'm just going to blend this out. I am gonna go in with liner and mascara and all that off camera, but I'm just blending this in. Okay, and now I'm going to try out the brushes because I do want to demo that on camera. So these are the brushes that came in the set. Um, it also came with a little hair clip, but I'm not using that, obviously. And I'm just going to pop out these brushes if I can. So these are the two brushes that I want to use today. Um, I'm going to take the more big fluffy one and I'm going to use this for my bronzer. And I'm taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's a very soft brush. I'm going to assume that these are synthetic and not like actual animal hair bristles. Um, but they are really, really soft and nice. I do like them. Um, and they're not shedding, which is great. Some brushes um, will shed the hairs onto your foundation, which is never nice. Um, but that's how you know it's good quality, is when it doesn't do that. So, I'm going to take the other brush. And I'm going to take the Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Passionate. This is my favorite blush currently. And I'm just going to hit my cheeks with the blush 
this is a very warm rosy pink kind of color and I'm really enjoying it so I think it goes so well with any lip color any makeup look just one of those shades that kind of just give you a nice rosy flush to the face and I like to kind of spread this out put this on my nose the sides of my nose basically making my skin look a little like frostbitten which I think is cute for the holidays Okay, and now I'm going to do the rest of the makeup off camera just to save time, and then I will be right back. Okay, and this is the finished makeup look. I'm just going to run down what I used off camera. I used my NYX Tinted Brow Gel just to fill in my brows. Um, Maybelline Mascara. NYX Matte Liner in Black. Um, I used a little bit of some highlighter from this uh, Sephora palette and this was their collaboration with uh, Lily Lashes. And for lips, I used a little bit of this mini Laura Mercier lipstick. It's this really pretty red shade right here. And I also went in with this mini velvet lip by... Lime Crime, and this is in the shade New Americana. And then I just set my face with the MAC Fix Plus. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like in more of a natural lighting. Trying to get some, some good lighting in this bathroom. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.